Here we go again. Dan Ashworth explains why Jaden Sancho's move to Chelsea. Manchester United sporting director Dan Ashworth has provided insight into the club's decision to sell Jaden Sancho to Chelsea. Speaking about the transfer, Ashworth emphasized that United's depth in wide attacking positions played a key role. We felt we had enough depth in that particular position to be able to cover it, Ashworth said. We've got four really good wide players. Jaden was a fifth, and it just enabled us to make that decision. With players like Marcus Rashford, Anthony, Alejandro Garnacho, and Ahmad Diallo competing for spots, United felt confident they could part ways with Sancho, allowing him to begin a new chapter at Chelsea. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag has been urged to strip Bruno Fernandes of Manchester United captaincy in order to free him. Fernandes inherited the armband from Harry Maguire last summer, at the start of Ten Hag's second season in charge. The Dutchman is now in his third campaign at Old Trafford and suffered a horror 3-0 defeat at home to Liverpool over the weekend. United came under criticism with captain Fernandes, among those in the firing line. And former Premier League manager Alan Pardew claimed the midfielder would actually benefit without the responsibilities of being captain. Pardew said on TalkSport, Today, it was never Fernandes, because they never had the ball enough. Defensively, he's not been called upon. How can he lead the team? It's a very difficult one for him. I actually think it would be better for him as a footballer to take it off him. I think it might free him up a bit. Let him be a bit more free-minded. He's probably worrying about the back four, worrying about the wingers. You don't really know how to deal with it. I don't know. I think it's a hamper to him. Fernandez's midfield partner, Casemiro, was hauled off at half-time against Liverpool after his error led to the visitor's opener. But Fernandez showed his leadership by rallying behind the Brazilian. Fernandez told the squad everyone had to take responsibility for a performance which many pundits think could spell the beginning of the end for manager Ten Hag. Elsewhere, Gary Neville criticizes Rashford after Man United's defeat to Liverpool. Following Manchester United's disappointing loss to Liverpool last Sunday, Gary Neville weighed in on the performance of Marcus Rashford, expressing concern over the forward's recent form. Neville, a former United defender and now a prominent pundit, voiced his frustrations during post-match analysis. He said that, as it is for seeing Casemiro in the first half, it's sad watching that kid Rashford because he has been a joy for Manchester United at times in his career. But it's getting hard work for him. And it's getting hard for Manchester United fans to watch him. Rashford, who has been a standout player for United in the past, has faced growing criticism this season due to inconsistent performances. Neville's comments reflect a broader sentiment among fans who are becoming increasingly frustrated with the team's struggles. As one of United's key players, Rashford's form will be crucial in determining whether the team can bounce back in the coming weeks. On other hand, Manchester United CEO Omar Barada backs Eric Ten Hag after 3-0 defeat to Liverpool. Following Manchester United's crushing 3-0 defeat to Liverpool at Old Trafford last weekend, CEO Omar Barada has publicly expressed his support for manager Eric Ten Hag. Despite the loss, Barada affirmed the club's commitment to the Dutch coach, stating, Eric has our full backing, and we've worked very closely together in this transfer window. We're going to continue working very closely with him to help him get the best results out of the team. This statement comes amid growing concerns over United's inconsistent performances this season, but the backing from the club's leadership shows their belief in Ten Hag's long-term vision. Fans will be hoping the team can turn things around quickly as the pressure mounts for positive results. Meanwhile, Manchester United fans will be eagerly awaiting an opportunity to watch summer signing Manuel Ugarte in action when they return from the international break. The Uruguayan was signed in the final hours of deadline day, meaning he missed the registration deadline to make his first United appearance during the weekend defeat to Liverpool. United's shambolic midfield showing has already put a lot of pressure on Ugarte to be a savior, and while he looks a fantastic addition to the squad, Eric Ten Hag will also have to adjust the system to get the best out of him. Ugarte has only trained with his new United teammates once since signing and will be away on international duty during the next two weeks as Uruguay face Paraguay and Venezuela in World Cup qualification. 
It is most likely he will start on the substitutes bench at St. Mary's and gradually be eased into Premier League action. On the other side, Man United will have painful memories of their difficult time under previous boss Ola Gunnar Solskjaer, who was sacked by the club in 2021. But despite the Norwegian struggling to bring success to the club, he has sent a warning to his permanent successor, Ten Hag. Ten Hag had fired back angrily to critics of the club after losing to Liverpool, both before and after the 3-0 defeat, reminding them that he had won two trophies since arriving in 2022 and that United were second to City when it came to silverware in that time. But Solskjaer believes managers using trophies as a defense mechanism was an example of ego, adding that silverware can mask the struggles of a club. He said, it's more of an ego thing for managers and clubs. We finally won something. We need to see progress, and if we progress well enough, and we perform well enough, the trophies will end up at the club again. It's not like a trophy will say that we're back. No, it's the gradual progression and the consistency of being in the top of the league, in and around there, and then add the odd trophies. Sometimes a cup competition can hide the fact that you're still struggling a little bit. Additionally, just like Ten Hag, Casemiro is another figure at Old Trafford who has come under fire since the humiliating defeat by the hands of Liverpool, after the Brazilian gave the ball away in the build-up to both of Luis Diaz's goals to put the Reds 2-0 up. The former Real Madrid midfielder looked second for much of the afternoon as he battled to keep up with the pace of the game, leading to plenty of fury from fans on social media. But his wife quickly fired back by uploading a picture of the player's large trophy collection. Ana Mariana Casemiro's photo showed all five of the Champions League trophies he won while with Madrid, including three La Liga titles, a trio of Club World Cups, numerous UEFA titles, and a Copa America success, again and again. Sky Sports pundit Roy Keane made a clear-cut admission about Manchester United after Eric Ten Hag's men were outclassed by Liverpool at Old Trafford on Sunday. Liverpool arrived at Old Trafford for their Premier League clash, and Arnie Slot's men outplayed Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United side in a convincing 3-0 win on Sunday. Mohamed Salah extended Liverpool's advantage in the second half and sealed all three points with Arnie Slot's side winning all three Premier League matches so far. Ten Hag's men were toothless in attack and offered very little in response to Liverpool's dominating performance, with United suffering a major setback. United have only managed one Premier League win in three matches in the 2024-25 campaign ahead of the September international break. The Red Devils defeated Fulham 1-0 at Old Trafford in their opening Premier League match last month before suffering a 2-1 defeat to Brighton at the Amex. Eric Ten Hag has once again faced mounting criticism at Old Trafford after Manchester United's poor start to the season. The 54-year-old United manager signed a contract extension this summer, despite overseeing a lackluster 2023-24 Premier League campaign. Speaking on Sky Sports, Roy Keane insisted that he was really disappointed United didn't turn up against Liverpool and praised the sharp Reds for their display. The 53-year-old United legend admitted that he is always surprised if the match is over after 60 minutes when a team plays against the Red Devils. It was far from an even game. Liverpool were very good. They looked sharp and looked fitter, Keane told Sky Sports. You can try to dress it up, but United were shocking. Every time Liverpool went forward, they looked like they were going to score. Not good. There's been a lot of good PR for United about plans for the stadium, blah blah blah. Today, I am really disappointed that United didn't turn up. I am always surprised if the game is over after 60 minutes when you're playing for Manchester United. Meanwhile, Keane added during his analysis that he is still backing United to finish in the top four, despite the Red Devils' back-to-back -back defeats under Ten Hag. I still think United will get in the top four, he said. Speaking after the Liverpool loss, Ten Hag insisted that United are now building a new team after the arrival of several new signings and departures of other players. Again, we have to build a new team, he said, as per Manchester United's official website. I explained this so many times, also on the Friday in the press conference. We will build this new team. We have young players. Also, now, we have players to build in, in the season. Today, 
I think we had two players, three players, first start of the season, and they didn't play 90 minutes.